Hello everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So, today I'm back again with Luna. It seems like uh, you all liked her in the last video and she just so happened to sit down. So I was like, you know what? Let's film a haul. So this week I went to a couple of different thrift stores. I actually did a no spend this week from Monday through Friday because I just found myself thrifting way more than I needed to and also buying things for myself that I didn't really need to and eating out and buying groceries and just like I was in this endless cycle of buying stuff and so I did not spend any money between Monday and Friday this week and so on Saturday I went out thrifting. I went to ARC and they usually have half off on Saturdays and I went to a buy sell trade store and so I found a couple of things. It's not like my biggest haul ever but I found a couple of exciting things to resell for quite a bit of profit. Hopefully there'll be a quick sale. I'm a part-time reseller seller on Poshmark and Mercari if you don't know already. I do this on top of my 8 to 5 desk job. This is a part-time side hustle for me that I really really love. I've never really mentioned this before. I've officially been doing this for two years but I was thinking about this the other day and I've kind of been reselling stuff for like over probably 10-12 years without even knowing it so um, I feel like this hobby kind of came naturally to me and so I love it and I love sharing my finds with the internet so here we are. So we're just gonna jump right into it and get started. So I'll start off with the things that I got from the Buy Sell Trade Store. First thing I got were these really cute little booties from Sorel. They're actually new with tags and they were kind of just chilling on one of the racks. I think they were supposed to be behind the counter because I've always seen them put Sorels behind the counter, especially new with tags ones, but I did pay up a little bit for them. They were $23, but the new with tags ones were selling for like around $125 on Poshmark. So I really love this style. The only thing I don't love about them is that they are a size five and a half, which is like teeny tiny, especially if you're wearing these in the winter and you're wearing like kind of thick socks with them, it might be a problem. So I don't expect that these are gonna go flying off the shelves, but I do feel like they will sell eventually for a good amount of money. For stuff that has a higher selling price, I'm kind of okay sitting on because eventually I know I'll make my money back. So that's why I was okay with spending a little bit more on those and waiting for it to sell. This is an adorable top that is from Anthropology. It has like a bustier style top and puff sleeves and it is gorgeous. I'm not gonna lie, I tried it on and she kind of fits perfect. It's got kind of like a square neck going, but I guess if you wanted to, you could probably wear it off the shoulder. I don't know, I'm more of a fan of the square neck look, but I've never found this brand, I don't think. It's called Hutch and it's a size medium. The comps for this specific anthropology brand were pretty good. This sold for $118 originally at the store, so not bad. It has a hidden zipper in the back. And I just think this would be so cute for like a holiday party with like a leopard midi skirt that's like satin. Ooh, that would be so cute and like booties. But <laughs> yeah, we shall see about that one. If I do end up selling it, I think I'll probably list this for like $65. The last thing I got from the buy sell trade store was this pair of Beyond Yoga biker shorts. These actually didn't have a tag and I was hoping I'd get a really good deal on them but they get, ended up giving them to me for eight dollars which isn't bad like these shorts I think sell for like 60 70 dollars and they're really soft. They're very very comfy and uh, I love to climb in these because the harness doesn't like you know yank up your shorts so you're like flashing everybody your bits and bobs so it's a really good style for climbing or even you know any other type of activity but yeah, so that's that. I think if I were to resell these, these would be like $40 pretty easily. So love that. I love finding Beyond Yoga, especially if it's a style that I like. Next up, I went to ARC. I really don't go to ARC very often anymore. You know, I love, love, love their mission. I think what they're doing is really cool. Uh, they support individuals with Down syndrome. And so you know, as much as I want to spend my money there as a reseller, it doesn't make that much sense for me because they mark their stuff up like crazy. So the only times I really enjoy going there anymore are on Saturdays when they have half off almost the entire store. Although most of the things I got were not half off, so I guess it was kind of pointless. If you don't know what ARC is, it's kind of similar to like Sabres, but in my opinion, it's gotten 
really, really pricey. The first thing I got was this cashmere sweater from Equipment. It's just striped with gold buttons on the front. I thought this was a really nice style. Originally it was going for $10, but I got it for half off and it was five. So I would not have paid $10 for this. Five is like the max that I'd be willing to pay, especially because it's a size extra small and it's in really good condition, but this brand just doesn't really do that well for me. But cashmere in general as like a fabric category does do well for me, so that's why I ended up getting this, but I would only buy this if it was a really good deal or at the bins. So not my favorite brand, but I think it'll sell. Next up, okay, I said in my last haul that this brand doesn't do well for me, but I did recently sell something from them, which is why I ended up buying this. Uh, I think I still would have bought this anyway though, but it's Balance Athletica. Their logo is like this little triangle. And this was $5, so it was a good deal. I think if it was maybe more than 10, I probably wouldn't have bought this. But they're these like orange diamond pattern leggings. Now, if these were gray, I would have freaked out because I just found the gray crop top version of this recently with the diamond pattern and then I could have sold it as a set which would have been fabulous but unfortunately that was not the case so <laughs> these are a size small and on the inside um, you'll see here it says that it's from Balance Athletica on the inside logo so these look brand new these do not look like they've been worn they're still like very pressed paper thin uh, it seems like this brand runs really small because like it's like the size of half my arm or like half or like two of my arms you know what i'm saying okay that made no sense i'm hoping that i'll list these for like 50 60 dollars the comps for it seem pretty promising so there's balance athletica i actually came across a pair of lululemon leggings that were like kind of cute but they didn't look high-waisted i ended up leaving them behind they were ten dollars i asked y'all on instagram if you would have picked them up if you're me and actually i think somewhere around 60 percent said they would which is pretty interesting because i cannot get lululemon to sell like at all i've kind of given up on the brand unless i find something that's really really trendy or maybe the dance studio pants whatever they are then maybe i'll get them but other than that I think I'm kind of done with Lululemon. <laughs> okay, this was my favorite find. I found this actually like right as I walked in, which was insane. It was also like kind of sticking out like this, but this is an Arcteryx Gore-Tex jacket. I think this is a raincoat because it's pretty thin. The zippers are like reinforced with like a plastic lining so that snow and water won't get in. Or it might be a shell, I'm not entirely sure. Either way, the comps for even the rain jackets were like $100 or more. Now, <laughs> this is like the rule of my life. Every time I get home, I always notice at least one thing that I missed at the thrift store and the like toggle on this side fell off, which is really unfortunate. But uh, the rest of the jacket is in really, really good condition. So I think I will probably be able to sell this for like 100 or $150. I've sold their pants before for like 75 or 80 ish dollars so i love this brand i rarely find it which is uh interesting because i live in colorado this is definitely like a very colorado brand but anyway this is a size medium and unfortunately i did pay up quite a bit for this i paid 30 dollars which like normally i i don't know that i've i've spent 50 dollars on a burberry jacket before but this might be one of the more expensive items I've paid up for recently, but I am noticing that with paying up, I'm making higher dollar sales, which is, what are you, look at how saucy she looks. What is she doing? Noticing that the sales that I make are higher dollar and I'm still making more profit rather than, you know, selling things that are a couple of dollars here and there, which, you know, I'll still take. I'm not knocking those sales at all, uh, but those are more so things that I like to buy at the bins, like Express or Victoria's Secret or Nike. Okay, so it's actually a few days later and I was done with my video. I edited it, I posted it, it was about to go live, and I went to go list this Arcteryx jacket, and then I realized I spent $30 on a fake jacket i had no idea that arcteryx even made fake jackets i feel kind of silly for not knowing this but um yeah so there were a couple of ways that i found out this was fake so the first one was i went on poshmark and i was looking up comps and i came across a very similar jacket to this one and people were asking uh for the style tag so i went down to my basement to try to grab this and find the style tag nowhere there's no style tag to be found and i'm telling you guys this in case it helps you out because apparently this is actually a very commonly faked style so these are a few things to look out for 
Um, there was no style tag. Apparently, usually Arcteryx will laminate their style tags in an inner pocket. There was none of that. Um, second of all, let's see, the grid pattern on the inside of this is very uh, contrasting, I guess, and on the authentic ones, it doesn't contrast this much. Um, it's more of like a blurry pattern, and this is just like a very hard cut grid. The next thing was, let's see, the cords, the draw cords on the hood are all wrong. They're not supposed to look like this at all. Um, I don't know, this just isn't it. I don't know what they're supposed to look like, but it's not that. <laughs> next, uh, let's see. The stitching was kind of coming undone on this, which I kind of chalked it up to it being an older style, but you can see here the E is like much smaller than the rest of the text right there. This giveaway, like the second I knew this was fake was actually because of the zipper. So uh, Arcteryx will always use a YKK or one other kind of zipper, but on this specific style, it should have been YKK zipper. This does not say YKK anywhere on it at all, not even on the back nothing. There's no YKK on that at all. Another dead giveaway was that this has nothing on the inside that says that. So a lot of the times I'll try to insert a picture somewhere uh, of what it should actually look like, but it'll have like the style name on the inside of a pocket. This doesn't have that. So need I say more? Last but not least, this stitching on the bottom. First of all, it shouldn't even be here. There's not supposed to be a line of stitching along the bottom hem. After the whole YKK incident of the zippers, I looked at the stitching and I was like, oh my god, the stitching is a mess. How did I not realize that this is totally a fake? Like, an $800 jacket would not have stitching that is this messy. Like, I don't know how well you can see that because the color is really bright, but yeah, it's, it's pretty horrible. So the funny thing about this is that there was like a whole Reddit thread about somebody in Golden, Colorado selling a fake Arcteryx that looked identical to this. Who knows, this might actually even be the same one because I did thrift this in Colorado, pretty close to Golden. So um, yeah, if you're thrifting Arcteryx, definitely check it out to make sure it's fake or real. There was a fake one that sold for $75 still, but I'm not gonna sell this. Um, I'm just gonna try to return it. I kept the tags and I kept the receipt and I'm just gonna try to take it in. If you do actually end up buying fake Arcteryx, you can file a complaint directly with Arcteryx. They'll give you a form that you can give to your credit card company and then the credit card company will give you your money back. So if I don't end up getting a store credit from Arc, then I'm gonna have to do that because I spent a lot of money on this. I spent $30, which is a lot for something that's just not gonna get used. I'm just gonna end up donating it again. It's not even my style, so <laughs> that kind of sucks. But um, yeah, guys, keep your eyes peeled for fake Arcteryx. Okay, on to the rest of the video. That was actually everything I bought this week. It was a really small haul. Since I haven't done this in a while, let's do best sale of the week. I'm actually not gonna do worst sale of the week because um, they've all just been really, really good lately, so I'm not gonna complain. My best sale of the week that is like done deal, already gone through, money's in the bank, is the Cezanne Talia knit sweater dress that I just recently posted in a haul. I paid $10 for that dress. I sold it for $120 and I made $96 on it. It sold really, really fast, like less than a month for sure, because I'm pretty sure I thrifted and listed that after Christmas, so. Yeah, $96, um, thank you, I will definitely take that. Honestly, one big change that I've noticed recently in my Poshmark sales is I'm much more willing to accept offers, whereas before I would counter and then the person would never counter back. And I feel like there's some kind of algorithm where it just keeps going if you accept offers, like Poshmark maybe pushes your closet out more as someone who, maybe who's willing to accept offers i'm not really sure let me know if you guys feel the same way down below do you feel like when you accept offers that you end up making more sales because that's kind of how i feel all right anyway that was my entire haul i know it was short but i hope you guys enjoyed it there's some really really good brands in here that i think will sell fast and i will see you guys next time bye